Let's do this. Essential if you want to get these shots. Step number two, get a tripod or get a suction cup, something that has been stabilized or shot. These are going to be very long shots, right? Uh, step number three, once you have the suction cup, you could do the following. Go to Pro Tools. The capture app is pretty easy. It's going to be that uh, the little wrench icon that you see there. And there you can do all the adjustments that you're going to need for the Nice, long, beautiful shots. Tip number four, my most important tip. Tip number four, which is lower the ISO. So yeah, like I was saying, uh, a higher ISO you might think is what you need, but really it's counterproductive. What you need is a lower ISO. That's, uh, there's a lot of light out there in traffic, especially when you do those light trains. So you want to lower the ISO so you can maximize your shutter speed. You want a five, and the higher the ISO you have, then the, high, the lower you, uh, shutter speed you're gonna get. Uh oh, uh oh, I think that's his place. Oh yeah, a little one. You got a little one. seconds you want to shutter at five seconds but no more than that it's going to make some really really beautiful uh, night trails this one right here this picture right here was with five seconds shutter speed and it created those nice um, uh, trails that you see in the uh in the roof of the lincoln mkx well thanks for watching make sure you subscribe boom all right so right after we're going to go over and do it manually so you can see exactly how to do it First, turn it on. See here. By the way, the GoPro voice commands are amazing. You're gonna use them more than you think, so good job, GoPro, on that. All right, so let's go to settings. Let's go to night lapse or time lapse, night lapse, right here. Do this. We're gonna put it at two. And shutter speed at two. We're going to go to the very important part, which is the ISO. Believe it or not, you're going to want to lower that. 
It seems kind of productive, but um, there's a lot of light out there when you're in traffic, so you don't need that to go down. We're gonna go too sharp for this one just because of the traffic and the car. You want it to look real sharp. If you were shooting stars, then probably not. I wouldn't suggest that. But we're gonna we want that car to look real sharp. The white balance, we're gonna shutter the intervals. Intervals, we're gonna leave it at auto. That way, it just keeps shooting them. So it goes by. So we leave it at that. You could go with linear, so the car doesn't look too distorted. All right. We could just uh, put it wide, whichever you like. That wide shot. Okay. So let's reset it to you, so you can see if you didn't do all these setting adjustments, what you will get. So basically you have this at 800, you have the four, the, the white balance at 55K. We shot this on a freezing day in Orlando. As you can see, the shutter was at two uh, seconds. The ISO at 100, and we used the suction cup outside. My favorite shot of all the shots we took with the uh, GoPro Hero 5, this one was a shutter speed of five seconds. You should try that once in a while. This one was shot at 30 seconds in a very lit sky in Miami. You can see some of the light trails at the planes near the airport uh, left. Try that. This was actually one of the clips of the video. And it was actually shot on auto with a night lapse. Came out pretty good. Now if you don't want to animate these, you want to take at least 120 pictures. So you could get at least uh, 30 seconds of footage. And then just uh, import them into whatever video program you want. Thanks everyone for watching. If you have any questions, make sure you leave it.